Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 980. Okay, let's see here. Fighting music. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm guessing that involves Apu. This could be interesting because we've literally seen that man hardly do anything, so. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're still in the that well, I guess technically yeah when we saw pound it did say gang beiges on my family so we got Gotti and wait what's with this crown for his exclamation mark Lola's talking to him about something um let's see gang beiges on my family volume 27 I like you marry me oh shit she <laughs> she asked him do it, Gotti. Just do it. Give this woman her dream. And plus, you seem to like her too. You know? Oh, and there, there's the little... The beige family. Or the gang? No. Uh, the Capone family. There we go. Bah. The name. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. that that Just do it, Gotti. You both deserve it. Uh, let's see here if I can get the... Turn the page. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, last time we left, Luffy was um he was uh in a he was in the middle of the damn banquet and he was standing on someone's head and like asking them around and but then he he saw things that he didn't like them wasting food which to be honest seems more like a Sanji thing but with Luffy it was because of the connection with Tama so I guess there's a of difference so anyway hey you got Shiroku or Oshiruku all over me yeah ha yeah cuz Oshiruku ain't fit for eating D don't tell that to Queen he will kill you all with so many viruses um it, it's better to wear it yeah ha ha uh, bring more Oshiruka out. Let's have a food fight. Oh, no. And there's Luffy. He got a little on him in the last chapter, and he's thinking of Tama. How come the idiots like you have all the food in front of you? Oh, from a th I thought he, like, took a little off his face and put it on his thumb and ate it. But no, he's a, he's a gone into elephant gun, and interesting the way that this angle for his... Hello, loud motorcycle. Um, like, the way his arm, like, we typically don't see him, like, do a bend. At least I'm not aware. It just seems odd seeing his arm stretched out like that. And Thomas' stomach is still empty. Gum gum. All these people are gonna... Well, someone got hit. I don't... That doesn't look like Luffy's fist. So what'd that dude get hit with? Oh, okay, so that was just Luffy's fist. All right, I thought maybe someone else, maybe Queen got involved, and he's like, he picked up a, you know, like a club or something and beat the dude's head, and he's like, who's wasting Oshiruko over here? I'm over here trying to, you know, do my best hosting duties, and you over here wasted my favorite food. But no, it was just Luffy punching them into the ground now. Um, that's a nice panel, though, I have to say. Um, just all of them kind of like the ones who weren't directly hit. They're like being blasted back and everything. But in the process, he's also ruined food. So, hmm. Luffy, this dude ain't got a brain left. His head has fully collapsed. So I think Luffy just killed a man. And I'm okay with it. But anyway, people are starting to like, huh? That dude must be a mouse man or something. He got big ol' ears. Um, Uh-oh. We see Queen. And, okay, Queen saw them, but he hasn't done anything. Now we're outside again. Fight, fight. Yeah, ha, ha. Yeah, mess him up. Wait, is this... Why? Oh, is this supposed to show that, like, the their voices are, like, carrying so far that you can hear them outside? Luffy has kind of cracked his neck. The 
Okay, is this inside or outside? I'm pretty sure that has to be outside. Look, Captain, it's Straw Hat. Oh, okay, this is outside. It's kids group. But, let's see. What does that idiot think he's doing? Being an idiot. Th that's not hard, but you also rushed in. So, well. <laughs> I mean, be it, maybe you were being a bit more discreet, but... Eh. Anyway, we're trying to sneak ar or sneak through this bank, whatever, using those disguises, and look at him. Forget him. This make I mean, he, you have a point. It was the whole point of having the disguises, but, you know, this is Luffy we're talking about, Kit. Um, anyway, forget him. This just makes it easier for us to get around. I mean, I guess with, oh lord, I just see a tower being cut in half. Ah, there's a crack running through the second floor balcony. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, people are just being thrown about. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? We're tripping over here. Ah! No. Oh, no. The feast area is a total mess. You okay over there? Yeah, it's now just completely fallen off. What was that? Fa fa. So, they're just like kids just watching this. and Is it Zoro? It has to be Zoro. Zoro ran off, didn't he? Well, uh, well, way to go. You just had to cause a scene. Zoro, I know it has to be you. You're the one that caused the scene. You're the one that literally cut a building in half. The most obvious freaking thing you could have done. I, I heard the noise in the distance. And walked straight in this direction to see. Who's that? Says the, the gifters or the whatever they might be pleasures. And it's Zoro. What a mess you've made of things. I I kind of love the hypocrisy, but it's a little like... No. <laughs> Hold your shit, Zoro. Um, why can't you behave and infiltrate the group like a normal person? If this is normal, what is Zoro's like, intentions of like not being normal? Like, what, what is he like? Hmm... This could be interesting later down the line. Does he understand the words that are coming out of his mouth? <laughs> this crew's a joke. Yeah, my thoughts exactly sometimes, kid. But, you know, we love the straw hats. It's their quirks that make them even more likable. But still, this is not the way you're supposed to be doing things right now. But they spilled the Oshiruko on the ground on purpose. Oh, God. Yoshiruko. Well, that sells it. They gotta get sliced. <laughs> oh, shit. He's even thinking of Tama. Uh, why is that setting them off? <laughs> Kid's just like, what the fuck is going on with these idiots? Why is food triggering them? Uh, but anyway. Hey, hang on. Hold on. What's the surprise? Explain. Master Queen? Doctor, help. But this isn't a war. I know. They haven't figured us out yet. Huh? These guys aren't with us? Oh, so they're, they're, people are starting to connect the dots. And Apu, you know, he's a do 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 Um, that, that's super obviously Straw Hat Luffy. What's he doing here? See, this is the problem when you have, like, people that have actually met Luffy. Or at least are knowing of him and his appearance. <clears throat> and his powers. This is why sneaking in when they had such allies. Also, Hawkins. Will he ever appear in this? I don't know. But, uh, what's he doing here? I heard he was imprisoned in Udon. All right, Luffy, if you're satisfied. Now, you know, given how long it's been since they broke out of Udon at this point, like, how has it not been reported back to them at some point? You know, yeah, at some point. To, like, check out the prison, see what's going on, because communications have been down for so long. Sure, you had, um, Old Maid, you know, kind of giving them false reports, but, you know, sometimes a personal inspection is required, you know? Like, King could have flown over there and been like, Well, this place is a shit show. You let the prisoners get away. Old Maid, you're about to be a dead maid. You know, something like that would have been perfectly fine. He could have gotten over there in a flash. So it's like, why, why not do that? 
Because you know he's suspicious on those calls. So, you know. Who are these guys? Um, oh, no, wait. Did I miss something? No. All right, Luffy. If you're satisfied now. Zoro, you're the one that cut the building in half. Who are these guys? Just seize them. They're up to no good. Starting trouble in the neighborhood? And then your mom got scared. And then, and then, and then Luffy and Zoro, they're running like bitches um anyway anyway let's scram they're running away <laughs> eh. anyway sorry i messed up the fresh prince of bel-air song i was trying to make it more one piece centric for the moment but it didn't work out sorry my bad um ah papa i don't remember queen's or no way maybe that's not queen queen i gotta ch check in with you Yo, yo, what up, brother? Up? Oh, that's Apu. Okay. It's been a while since I've heard his laugh, so I, I didn't know. I guess I should have known with the little music notes, but, you know, whatever. You know how, uh, let's see here. Um, actually, they both have the musical notes, but the different ones. Anyway, you know how you're in charge of Udon and you trap some rats. You don't want them to wriggle loose, right? Because if you ask me, that looks like the pirate Straw Hat Luffy and pirate hunter Zoro. Don't it? Wait, are these guys infiltrating our party? They're from the worst generation. Okay, so I'm guessing that was Queen that said that. Yo, what are you going to get from... Or, yo, what are we going to get for catching them? Apu, uh, so Kid is pissed. Because, I mean, it was Apu that kind of betrayed them. Not kind of, he did. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a problem. And now this is probably going to make Old Maid into Dead Maid, potentially in the future. Damn it, they broke out of prison? Tch, no problems here. He's thinking about it. Shit, Old Maid, run! Um, okay, folks, we got one fun golden uh, festival happening tonight. Oh, he's trying to keep up appearances. Oh, is he going to do a dress rose a thing where it was like, if you can catch him, you get a reward. And also, we don't kill you for insubordination. Um, but yeah, let's see here. As it happens, I got someone I want to erase right now. Okay. Uh, interesting use, but fine. Uh, I'll get rid of one of the, uh, he wants to get rid of the Toby Ropo, or at least one of them. Which one? And create an open seat. So basically what is happening, Queen is doing a lower level version of what people are gunning for his position. So the Calamities are going to possibly have a challenge, but now the Toby Ropo are going to have a challenge for a seat. This is going to be fucking wild if both get replaced. Or a seat and both gets replaced. Whoa, that's the best possible reward. Other than becoming a calamity yourself, but okay. Uh, we can be Toby Ropa. These guys are going to be fodder. I'm in. I'll do it. Me too. <laughs> They're all just celebrate. Who is this guy? Like, some of these designs definitely indicate that these might be more noteworthy people. Because they're not in, like, normal, like, pleasure, waiter, you know, um, what's the other one? The gifter, uh, looks. Like, they're, they're dip, what is up with this woman's bot? She's a snake gifter. Okay, I see her in the previous panel, because I was like, her body's, like, going way up in the air there. But yeah, these are very noteworthy people. You got a person with a B, and she's got, like, four arms, so maybe she has, like, bee powers, maybe she got a stinger coming out of her ass, who knows. Uh, but yeah. That's quite some motivation. I want that seat for myself, says the snake lady, and okay, there's another person with, like, a talisman-looking, uh, drape thing on their face. There's no help unless you're at least a gifter. Forget it, let's drink. Drink! Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got Luffy and Zoro still running. You know, 
come to think of it, I have heard some commotions. I didn't look into it, but like people were kind of complaining when this chapter first came out. And I'm guessing this might be linked to it because they're running instead of fighting. But, you know, they're trying to conserve their power, you know, for the bigger fish. I mean, these are like all small fries and relativity. So huh. it's probably what I would do. You know, maybe so a conqueror's hockey wave to knock them out and then you move on. I don't know exactly how much energy that exerts. But, let's see here. These guys seem annoying to deal with. They must all be smile fruit users. Kaido's castle is probably in the back. It, probably. It is. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's clear the minimum outside. Uh or the minimum out of the way and get inside sounds good okay this there is some gifter designs here we got like a crab lobster crab people crab people a gorilla guy no that's a woman her body the gorilla is basically her whole body and it's like she's melded into the front of the gorilla you've got one with wings you've got this dude who has like a Kabuto beetle or not maybe not Kabuto like a stag beetle you know like coming out of his shoulders you got the snake lady I think from before you got just people with weapons you've got I guess that's a numbers in the background there so that's interesting I, I like the gorilla girl that that's kind of funny what's weird is that there's these two guys with what looks like you know the like the like wind up keys for like you know clocks and stuff oh crap apu he's on his teeth i'm not even it's like pling pling and then clang 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 so oh he's doing his job i forgot it was a symbol um and now he's drumming on their chest Whoa. uh listen up this is fighting music oh god wait can he can he do what brooke does this is bad. <laughs> Scratch. What is he? He's... What? Also, there's a bear. And whatever this dude with the little Mewtwo fingers. Um, Bop. Oh, his hand, like, detaches and it has the strings in between. This is cool. I've been wanting to know what his body is like since he ate, like, I guess it's the music, music fruit or the instrument, instrument fruit. But, oh, okay. Now I'm seeing more of reason why people are not liking this chapter, apparently. Luffy just got smacked in the face with a sound wave. <laughs> and it looked like it hurt. <laughs> Knocked him on his ass. Ah, Luffy. So that was from the bomb that he did with his wrist something i i wish he would say what it was that he was using because i'm not the best when it comes to instruments anyway huh hang on so zoro's running in what's the guy who uh that's the guy who has an alliance with jaggy what was that did i get punched no unless ooh, this could be interesting if he combines like um like advanced armament hockey with his sound waves, that would be devastating. Um, anyway, slash. Okay, so first he said scratch bop, right? But Luffy described it as a punch. And now he's saying slash, but I don't quite... Okay, he actually did a, like an, a sound wave air slash on Zoro. Oh, shit. Well, that... That explains the pissiness. Um, maybe Apu is just stronger than they, you know, expect, you know? But it doesn't bode well for the, the stocks of these two characters, now does it? Um, uh, whoa, Zoro! Huh? A slashing attack? He doesn't have a blade. No, I didn't see the trajectory of his attack at all. It's because it's everywhere! And it's nowhere because it's sound! Um... What are those powers he has? Mmm, check it out. Choo -choo. <laughs> uh, here comes another one. I know. 
Okay, so now they they know what's kind of coming, but chances are he's probably got so many instrument attacks that they would never be able to guess. I hope that frickin' Brooke fights Apu. Because with both of their musical backgrounds, that could be like the musical fight of the century. It's like the battle of the bands. Except they're one individual each. You know? But anyway. Uh, boom! As he beats his chest again. And... It was a fucking explosion! Wait... I think I figured it out. He's using automatopoeia, isn't he? Where the sound something makes is also what it is derived from to represent. Like, boom, you know, that's like boom is an explosion. Is that what he's doing? Automatopoeia abilities. If that's the case, crap. <laughs> it's like, Luffy! I mean, Luffy should have endured that, right? I mean, the punch was, like, just a punch. He he didn't seem to be phased by it past the initial, like, shock of the attack because he wasn't expecting it. He couldn't see it. But an explosion, we... I'm pretty sure we've seen him blow up before. Or is that somebody else? I'm thinking maybe someone else. But either way, he, he should have... He should instinctually do, like, armament hockey on himself just to be safe. Uh, wait a second, that was quick. Is that all you got? Oh, Queen, you're just baiting the the haters in the fandom. Um, well, I can understand some of this cri the criticism, but potentially I just... Mm, eh. But anyway, um... Let's see, so Luffy's falling, Apu's smiling, Zoro's pissed. Damn it! No choice, just have to get away. Oh, so he, he's grabbed Luffy and running like, yeah, ha, ha, hey, they're running for it, after him. If we take too much damage here, we won't last to actually fight Kaido. I mean, this makes a good point. That's why I said do, you know, conquerors hockey on everybody. You know, you could at least get a good chunk of them taken care of for a while. It's just that they outnumber us. Their skills run deep. Also, we're getting some more gifters, multi-armed people, so there's a moose, okay, and a chameleon dude, he's just like stuck to the wall with a most, it's like, he's, he's like a centaur, but he's not, because it seems like his body, be it the words, are kind of covering it up, but it seems like his, lo his legs are gone, just melded into the back of a chameleon, or some kind of lizard. I say chameleon, because it kind of looks like one to me. Anyway, oh, oh, it's a lady, because I saw a bow, and, oh, Zoro blocked that, but now we've got a wolf dude, he's got a wolf in his gut, and it's growling, um, and Luffy bit its mouth shut, okay, um, yipe, sorry, I'm fine, uh, of course you are, uh, <laughs> Okay, some of these gifters really have it tough. Like, what the hell is that? The thing has, like, it looks like a human face on his torso. But then he's got, like, these large, um, like, fangs coming out of the bottom jaw. And then a goat-looking dude. Who has a similar kind of thing going on because it looks like a head up at the top. I, I would hate to be a gifter, folks. Uh... Let's break through them. Enough disguises. I mean, the disguises didn't really work when you didn't try to blend in with people and not cause a commotion. You know, you could have just taken out your righteous fury later on, or silently, when you actually had to fight. But no, you had to mess it up. But, whatever. Um, they're hard to move in. Zoro, you had no problem at all. To be honest, you're probably wearing more clothes than what you had before. <laughs> and technically, it's just a disguise. It, like, I don't even know if, like, it physically hinders you regardless of what you're wearing. Because, like, armor doesn't protect you. Because, like, as soon as it, like, gets touched or dispelled, it's, it's like nothing's really there, right? It just covers you, but it can heat you, so maybe the armor does work. I don't know. I don't fully understand the full, 
like capabilities of Kenimon's fruit, I guess. But either way. So, uh, let's get on to this. Uh, check it out. Okay. Apu's doing finger guns again. Wait, is this a double spread? Oh, it is a double spread. Okay. Okay. Now, check it out. They're still in my firing range. Ah, pa, pa. Let's see how they like my subwoofer. Straw Hat. Roranora. Ah, uh, Roranora. Yeah. Rora Noah. There. Anyway, stop it, kid. Fa fa fa. Huh? Ah? Uh? They've spot or they'll spot you too. I don't care. That traitor over there is how it, I how this all got started. Okay, so kid is just he's had it with Apu. It's like you screwed us. I'm taking you out. So he's got a big old metal hand brewing. It's like eat this Apu, and Apu looks shocked. It's ah, kid. <laughs> So this implies that Apu is not stronger than Kid. Interesting. If he's that worried. Punk. Gibson. All of his attacks seem to mostly just be giant metal hands. And I don't particularly like that. Like, I, all of his attacks are just too damn similar. But, I mean, it's not at least connected to him. It's like its own entity that he's just manipulating. So, I guess that makes it different. Hmm. But he's crushed Apu into the wall. And June 7th is the next chapter. So, alrighty. That ends the chapter. Sorry this reaction took so long. Um, but, yeah... Apu seems stronger than Luffy and Zoro, and that is troublesome. So now I understand why, you know, people were a bit of a buzz these last few days. Uh, I tried to avoid spoilers, of course. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I did hear mention of Apu and Zoro, but I don't think I heard anything about Luffy. So, like, when I'd see their names, I'd try to, like, scroll past, like, on Twitter and in Discord and stuff. But their names were mentioned, so I, you know, there was that. But I didn't think they would get so whooped by Apu. But I think that's mostly because they don't understand his powers, so they're not that prepared. So that could just be a coincidence that they're not doing so well. But even when they were trying to fight back, or at least they were more aware, they were still getting whooped so it doesn't look too good for him I hate to say but yeah but kid seems to be able to just beat his booty all he wants he bangs a poo like an iron drum but uh or steel drum you know, like da -na 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 -na. Apu. Eh. Eh. ding and but anyway hmm but yes uh Seeing Apu's abilities in combat was kind of fun. I rather liked it. Um, mostly sound wave attacks, but it seems like he's using Automatopoeia. Let me know if anyone else seems to have caught that, or if you think that's the case, let me know. Um, Apu, I never really cared for him, but his powers are not too bad. Um, I hate that he spotted Luffy in them, but, you know, that was made sense. He knew them from previously, so it makes sense. But, uh, I already explained the trials and tribulations of that. The thing with Queen, like offering up a Toby Ropo seat, you know, potentially, that's interesting because actually that probably might happen regardless because if... One of the calamities gets replaced, well, then that means a Topi Ropo seat is going to be empty. So maybe he is aware that someone might be coming for him. We don't know. It seems like King and Who's Who are possibly going to, you know, duke it out for a calamity seat, but that's only hinted at, so I don't know. But yes. Anyway, I've been rambling on long enough. Um,. Good chapter minus the Luffy Zoro kind of low stalking, you know, that they've kind of taken a plunge in the, the power stocks, as it were. 
but I think some of that is just they just didn't know how his powers work, but they should have been more prepared once they became more aware of it, and that's my criticism of that. <clears throat> Full body hockey or just armoring themselves up in some way would have been beneficial in this little exchange. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Um, check out all my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my uh, <clears throat> social media so that you're always in the loop for all my content going forward and to contact me and whatnot. I stream on Twitch and I do gaming there and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, beat your chest like a drum!